All right, welcome. Tonight we have the first week of the NECC Valorant League. We have the Carthage Firebirds going up against the uh, U.S. Mili Army Academy West Point Golden Knights. For the Firebirds, we have Slum Dank, Kony, Kalioth, Nico, and Happy Samoid. I'm going to go with, probably just call him Happy through the stream. For the Golden Knights, we have DeSong, Velocity Knife, Shrimp Shrimples, Larry Peepa Pong, <laughs> and Solitary. Uh, tonight is a best of three maps where first we have the Golden Knights attacking, the Firebirds defending. We are on Bind. Uh, it is, if, you've not, if you're new to Valorant, it is a best uh, first to 13 wins. So best of 25 with overtime possible if we reach 12 to 12. Uh, and then it'll be first to win the two out of three maps. Tonight we are going to be playing on Bind, Breeze, and Icebox. Now beforehand, uh, both teams went ahead and banned certain maps that couldn't be used, which left us down to these three. Um, so the Firebirds are hoping to come out strong on Bind. I heard them talking earlier, thinking this is a really strong suit for them. And we are starting here. Looks like we're watching Happy Samoid first. Firebirds go ahead and decide who's going to defend which point. So another intro to Valorant if you're new to it, because I don't think we've had a commentator for a Valorant stream yet. Uh, basically, it's two teams of five competing to plant a bomb or eliminate the other team Open at charges. either the A site or the B site. Uh, one map does have a C site, um, and each character or hero has a different set of abilities that allow them to either be an initiator, which will help get them info gather, or a duelist, which will help them gather, uh, not gather, uh, create space and also be damage for their team. Controllers, which help, you know, lock down points and make it harder to uh, push. And then Sentinels, which are good at holding flanks and making sure that uh, nothing sneaks up on their team. Now, it does seem that the uh, Golden Knights do want to push a site this round. I'm not quite sure if they've been viewed yet. All right, it seems the info has been gathered. The Firebirds are beginning to rotate over to take them down. And there's an e early pick by the Golden Knights on the Happy Samoyed Chamber. Might have this backwards. No, I don't. And Solitary has now picked off Nico, leaving a clear numbers advantage for the Golden Knights as they try to lock down a site. Little poke damage going back and forth between the Golden Knights. Oh, and a nice pick by Kony on Solitary. And the song takes out Kony, then trading that elimination right Last off the bat. Player standing. Just the Sova left now for oh. the, uh, and as I say it, there he goes. Clear it. Kalioth defeated by Velocity Knight. Um, just to run down the rosters real quick, we have, for the Firebirds, we have a Chamber, a Yoru, a Sova, a Raze, and an Astra. Uh... Put them into classes. Uh, Chamber is a sentinel. Yoru, Yoru is a duelist. Sova is an in initiator. Raze is a duelist as well, and Astra is a controller. They're running the two dueler uh, composition, two duelist composition, as they try to move forward and equalize the series and bring it to 1 1. And for the Golden Cutting Knights, we have Killjoy, Chamber, Raze, Sky, and Omen. Killjoy being a sentinel as well as Chamber, so they are running two sentinels to try and cover every flank. And Ray's being a duelist, uh, Sky being an initiator, and then Omen being a controller. Now it does seem they are pushing A site again, uh, and I don't think any Firebirds have noticed them yet. So stand off right now as we're waiting for the first initiation by the Golden Knights. And there it is. And now pushing in through the smoke of Astro. They almost pick off the cha the opposing chamber, but they're able to teleport away. And Slum Dank has the first pick on Velocity Knife. The Firebirds now take a 5-4 uh, advantage, and now a 4-3 advantage. As it moves forward, here. nice teleport by Nico to therefore take out Larry Peepaw Paw. Standing ahead. A nice two Last picks by Shrimples there. Take out the Firebirds, one leaving now in a 1v1 remaining. situation. Kaleoth versus Shrimples. Kaleoth's gonna try and get some initiation going. Tries to shock dart him and defuse. Doesn't quite pull it off. Clutch. 
and is taken out by Shrimples. The Golden Knights now go up 2-0 in the series as we move into round three. One other interesting key aspect to look for in this game is the economy. It costs money to buy your utility and weapons every round. Uh, the more kills you get and the more rounds you win, the more money That's you have access to. Uh, same goes if you lose some rounds, you get kind of what I call pity money. Um, and so that's always something you gotta look out for. It's are you gonna be a full buyer that, that round? Are you going to only half buy? Are you going to go with an economy round and just use the basic weapons that are given to you? Uh, and overall, having nine times out of ten, having the better weapons will get you a much easier way to winning the round. And I can't quite tell uh, what they're buying right now, but it seems that they are going for a full buy as I see a Vandal now out on the field by Happy Samoyed. Who's trying to decide which to push. And the Golden Knights are now switching to attacking B point. Uh, one interesting thing about this map is the fact that there are teleporters on it. So if they wanted to change where they wanted to go, take flight. They could do so by going through the teleporters that are one It seems they're going to try the full push onto B site and knock out three Firebirds. And they will be able to plant the bomb. Now they're in the post play scenario where they're trying to defend. Slum Dank goes in and takes out two, therefore giving them the numbers advantage going forward. Kaleoth, I don't think, has been noticed by Larry standing. P. Pong. But Larry P. Pong is able to come in clutch and take out both the Firebirds, bringing us up 3 0. Bringing them up 3 0. The Golden Knights. Firebird's economy is probably hurting a little bit after That'll buying win. very expensive weapons last round and About losing them dead. all in that round. So I'm seeing, yeah, a Marshall, not very expensive. I saw Kick a Spectre, which is kind of a medium expensive gun. Um, and it seems like that the Golden Knights are going to try and you push want to play? Game. Let's play. Oh, and Happy Samoyed misses the pick on the Omen. Tries to just shoot in there. Almost gets a pick on the sky, but has to teleport away so he doesn't die. Slum Dank trying to pull some of the uh, opposing team out into the open so they can be shot. Nico teleporting back into safe space. And it seems that on the map, there's a rotation going on by the Golden Knights going to be right now. Golden Knights, the chamber has the spike and he's left alone right now. He will push up toward Hookah. It seems like the raise for the Firebirds has caught wind of them rotating and is starting to call in for backup. But will it come in time as they start to push the site? Tony's huh. blinded for a second and then is taken out by DeSong with the Vandal. It does seem that the Golden Knights now have complete control of the site. Right. The Firebirds need to play for retake. Remaining. Flawless. All right, moving in now, we have uh, the Knights up 4 0 right now, getting a, quite the jump on the Carthage Firebirds. And I'm sure their economy is also booming. They're able to keep most of their weapons, as not many died last round. The Firebirds, they've got, they've got to hold them here. They've got to start winning some rounds here, otherwise it will just be a complete wash. It does I've seem like the Knights do want to take Site A again. We'll see if they rotate Shadow afterwards. Strap. And that is the ult by the Firebirds Coney, which is able to take out two of the Knights. It is now a 5v3 situation. Definitely not unwinnable for the Knights. Oh, and a nice little pick One there by Slum remaining. Dank and Happy Samoyed to bring it now to a 4v1 scenario.
Firebirds do now have control of where the site is, uh, the, where the spike is on the ground as they were able to pick off the knight carrying it. Now we have the knight's killjoy trying to go and get the spike, probably knowing that the angle is being watched and now their location has been revealed. They're able to grab the spike and get away. I believe they're going to try to rotate now. And we have the Astra for the Firebirds now trying to rotate as well. Being there, wanting to be there to meet Killjoy when left. they get there. 23 seconds may not seem like a long time to most, but in terms of these type of games, it is an eternity to hold, to hold down the site and make sure that that spike is not planted. And a nice kill there by Slumdank, playing patiently and able to get the Killjoy just as they're planting the spike. Firebirds now are on the board. It is 4-1 in favor of the Knights going forward. Knight's Chamber setting up their trademarks on the flanks, trying to make sure that if any Firebird tries to rotate behind them, they will be caught in a slow orb. Here's a flash by the Yoru. Which is followed by the Knights trying to wall bang, but that is not where Yoru was positioned. And Yoru, in fact, teleports all the way to A-Site. I don't know if that was the smartest move, but it seems that the Knights were not able to take advantage, and they're actually starting a slow rotation while keeping two pushing B site. Shadows this may be advantageous for the Knights, as I believe, yes, Firebirds did start to rotate to B, and now the numbers advantage is on B, which leaves the people on A in a almost 5v2 situation. The Firebirds can't get there in time. Firebirds trying to rotate now. Chamber L L able to teleport as he set up his teleport anchor on the other site. A very useful teleport anchor, uh, I might add, being able to you teleport from one site to another. Um, and in fact, it does work out as he's able to get a pick. Spike planted. Looking for me? Now a 3v2 situation in favor of the Firebirds. The Killjoy tried to ult, but it did not actually detain any players, but maybe it generated enough space. Yeah. Nico has been flashed now by the opposing sky. Remaining. Is on, I mean, not defuse, defend. Uh, and then Nico is able to uh, get the defuse off after picking off the opposing sky. Good try, idiots. Firebirds now only... Down two to four as we move into round five here. Round seven, I mean. The economy should be balancing out after those two wins. Both teams should have about the same amount of money going. Alright, the Golden Knights seem to be trying to push B here as we go forward. Um, Firebirds do have the numbers advantage on A though, so it will be a 2v5 situation. 4 situation, I must have missed a pick. Nico in a 1v1 with Shrimples right now, who is going to evac the site. And hold down the angle, watching for any Firebirds who are trying to rotate from A. And the Spike, spike Carrier is killed B. in an easy pick by Kelioth. Leaving it now to be a 5v3. With the Firebirds all rotating toward B. Last pick by Nico and Slumdang. To finish off the round, the Firebirds now one away from equalizing. As they flawlessly win round three. I mean, round uh, their third round. And because none of them died, they all got to keep their weapons, which puts their economy in a very good situation. Firebirds doing another 3 2 split with two people going to B and three on A. Uh, the Golden Knights, though, also seem to be doing a 3-2 split. Or they're both pushing through the middle of A. We have Omen watching showers for the Golden Knight, which raises them to push through. 
I think they've seen each other now. Omen trying to push up into showers now as Razor evacuates. Happy Samoyed able to teleport away before getting any damage by the uh I got this spot. opposing rays. Careful here. Larry Peapog not quite able to get the headshot and pick off the Happy Samoyed in the chamber battle. The spike does seem to be moving now toward B site as Sky uses her uh, intel capturing ability uh, to try and see if anyone's there, finds out that there is a Yoru, and promptly returns to A site, leaving Killjoy alone on B site to make some noise and possibly make them worry about a rotation. Drimple's picked off by Kony, coming out just a little too far with utility in hand and not a gun. 30 seconds left. One and across the map, Kaleoth is able to take out Solitary as they were by themselves and pushed in just a little too quickly. This leaves just the Sky stranded in middle, ready to be pincered by any firebird. Has to pick off Kony, but unable to do so. Ten seconds left. With nine seconds left, I think Sky will just attempt to keep... Stay alive. And the defenders win. This means that the Firebirds have been able to equalize here in round eight. As we move forward to nine, in round nine, it's the battle for the fifth point. Remember, we are playing to 13. And so as we go forward, it seems the Firebirds will be doing their same old 3-2 split with Yoru and Sova going to site B and Astra Chamber and Ray is going to site A. The Golden Knights do appear to be trying for a full push of B through Hookah. Yoru will have to defend, but Let's has left dance. his teleport anchor at the back, so if things get dicey, he should be able to escape. Omen is going to try and make some noise at A at the start of the round to distract the players at A. Shrimple's trying to clear out Hookah, not knowing that it's already been cleared as Yoru has moved away. Pull Yoru and Chamber about to meet each other. Nico gets the nice kill on Chamber. And Happy Samoyed gets the kill into Song. This leaves a nice numbers uh, difference in favor of the Firebirds as they collect intel, intel on knowing, I think, knowing everyone's in Huda. And the Golden Knights are committing to Hookah so far. They are not going to try to go to another point. Oh, is going to this. try and alt to gather that intel and see how many of the Golden Knights are in there. He sees one, two, and three of them all in there, so now the rest of the Firebirds at side A know that they can full push now and trap the remaining members of the Golden Knights as they enter an all-out firefight in just a moment, I'm sure. Kaylee off ready to line up whoever's in hookah there. Trimple's tried to use an off angle and Velocity Knight is kicked off by Kaylee and Slumdog picks off Solitary. Trimple's returns the favor with Kaylee off. But everyone's going to force the issue in Hookah, and the defenders will take it. The Firebirds are up now 5-4. Tried and true, the 3-2 split is coming again from the Firebirds, as they seem to have slowed down any momentum that the Golden Knights had, probably now completely reversing the economy almost. With this probably being the last round that the Golden Knights will be able to buy Vandals and full shields. Time to hunt. Scout destroyed. They do seem to be trying to push A from every angle. In the enemy, uh, he's detected by Happy Samoyed using his trademark ability, which will slow them down there. And the result of it is a pick by Slum Dank. Slumdank tries to get another, it does Spike get one, down a. and then is also picked off. This leaves a 3-2 scenario now for the Firebirds as they try to rotate toward Golden Knights, standing. and Velocity Knife turns away just at the wrong time and is picked off by Nico. Now a 3v1 situation, though Chamber is not on much health. As Solitary tries to push through showers. Nico's trying to get there from behind, Decoy. leaves a nice teleport anchor, so... Okay. 
And there it is. Now get Headshot it. picks off. Solitary. The Firebirds go up 6-4. That is six unanswered rounds now for the Firebirds. The Golden Knights, they just haven't been able to adjust to the defense, and it hasn't changed. Whereas the Firebirds, they were able to adjust to the attacking style of the Golden Knights, and clearly it's been proven to be effective as they have six unanswered rounds. Heading to the above. Satchel out. Tony trying to take an off angle there as they hop on top of the generator. You want to play? Let's play. We have our first bit of contact now. As the song gets hit by one bullet. But the rest of the Golden Knights do seem to be pushing through Hookah for B-Sight, which leaves Solo alone on B-Sight. Omen is making a lot of noise that's, being, that's been successful so far. The teleporter does make noise, so I'm sure that the Golden Knights are aware that Happy Samoyed is in the teleport room right now. Just waiting for him to come out. Just song gets a nice pick on Coney. Now a three v three scenario: Firebirds versus Golden Knights. The song's getting some healing from their uh, from their sky. I've got your trail. Someone's playing in the defender spawn right now. Unsure of where the uh, enemy team is going to push, and the sky alt does leave Slum Dank having to retreat as he is blinded and disoriented. I am the hunter. Lost his knife is planting, and Kaleo knows exactly where the default plant site is and is able to get one hit on their alt onto the sky. And Happy Samoyed, now feeling safe enough to push into Hookah, does so. Clears the area, realizing there's no one in there. This guy's trying to heal up Velocity Knife a little bit. I mean, Velocity Knife is trying to heal up the rest of her, uh, their team. Recon arrow does show exactly where they are. And the Shock Dart should do it. And Kaleoth having an impressive round right here. And just as I say so, Solitary is able to take him. This leaves Chamber in a 1v2 situation. Player standing. That's one kill, thrifty. but can't get the second one. That's a thrifty win for the attackers, as they are able to finally answer the six Last round. Last round in have. the half. Thrifty means that uh, overall, the amount of money they spent on the economy was significantly less than what the Firebirds spent to buy their weapons and utility. That's a good spot. And uh, let me tell you that the Golden Knights needed that one if they were going to keep any momentum as the Firebirds just seemed unstoppable right, uh, going into round uh, 10. Or 11. 11. I can do math. Thank you. The Firebirds taking a much more aggressive approach and it doesn't quite work out as Larry P. Pog is there to immediately pick off Nico. I believe that also left an operator on the ground if they go and grab it. Okay. Golden Knights do want to commit to pushing A though as they go and get on in there through the main wire. Slum Dang holding the usual angle. Might be something to slow them down so that so can rotate. One now enemy remaining. 1v4 situation as they plant the spike, the Golden spike Knights. Planted. It's an almost impossible situation for Soba uh for Kaleoth. Probably just wants to keep his gun, but he'll take any picks he can get. Omen ulted to try and uh, see where Kaleoth was. Kaleoth able to shoot the ult before it can activate, therefore he cannot teleport there. Kaleoth moving around now, trying to take any off angle, just isn't able to do so. 1v4 situation, incredibly tough. Grimple's able to get the pick. It's tied up 6 6 as we Switching go into sides. round 13. This is also, I believe, the last uh, round for the Golden Knights to be attacking, and no, that was, the past round was the last round. We are moving on to the Switch now. The Firebirds will be attacking now, as they seem like they want to push B with everyone. I see another 2-3 split with Killjoy and Sky for the Golden Knights going to B, and Chamber, Rays, and Omen going to A for the Golden Knights. Firebirds seem to be committing all five to B. And here we go. 
Firebird's trying to go with an aggressive push. They want to get kills quickly. Tries to peek out a little bit. Gets flash. Unable to be pitched though, Nico is, as Velocity Knife misses their shots a little bit. And the Firebirds have taken all the way up to A main, and I think they've also taken Hookah if they can take care of that drone, which they are able to do so. There's a quick rotation now coming in by all the opposing Golden Knights who try to teleport and take an off angle. One enemy remaining. The firefight does conclude with a 4 1 advantage by the Spike Firebirds, planted. as Shrimples just kind of plays it safe. I think they'll go for a pick if it arises or if they take out an angle. Trying to sneak in there. 1v4 situation. Better to play for kills than for the complete win. They do get one. Triple's able to get the headshot on Slum Dank. And then on Coney as well, able to take them out. Now it's a 1v2, a much more doable situation. The enemy Sova does try to use the recon dart. Unable to do so. Ooh, and Kaleoth. Tries to use the recon dart, unable to do so. Chamber's able to get out of there just in the nick of time. Tries to use the shock dart, it misses. Shrimple's recon drone does get some damage. And we might see a great 1v4 executed by Shrimple's. But overall, it is futile, as the Firebirds were able to hold down the site long enough for the spike to detonate. You hate to see it for the Golden Knights, but our Firebirds go up 7-6. On my, on my, on my, on my, on my way. That works. Out of charges. Firebird seeming to have one lurker in the chamber going to B site, or at least setting up his trademarks there so they know if anyone's rotating. The Firebirds will be pushing A site this time, where they will be met by Chamber, Omen, and Raze. Seems another pistol round is going through, but the Firebirds, I see at least a couple where they bought... Phantoms and Spectres to try and have that advantage on the DPS, and they're able to do so. Nico picks off the song. But Trimples returns the favor by getting Kaylee off and Nico back. Ah. Slum Dank able to reach a point where they can plant the spike, though. Spike planted. And the spike planted. We see that everyone from Blue Side has rotated. Yeah. Tony able to pick off Larry Peep. He po pog. Uh, he's just now on the stream. I tried my best with the po pog. Solitary almost able to get the pick. One enemy remaining. Velocity knife does get Coney, leaving it into a one v two, and Velocity knife will then pick off Happy Samoy, which will bring the series to seven seven. No, no, you don't deserve my inventions. Not a good round for the Firebirds, as they probably spent a lot of money to get all the guns they had, and they pretty much gave them away to the other team. Yeah, the Firebirds having to play on a pistol round right now to save as much money as they can. Not using shields either. They'll pl we'll play probably for a lot of more uh, camping-like angles, and we'll try to make Placing swamp grenade. the Golden Knights come Placing to them a little more grenade. with this strict... Damage disadvantage. Firebirds will be pushing through B. Immediate Firebird pick on Velocity Knife as they're moving together as a unit. Not much a gun can Time do there. Yeah. Yoru flashes the area. Accidentally flashing rays in the process. Nico's able to use his teleport to get to an off angle that I don't think that the Golden Knights are aware of right now. Spike Larry planted. being shot up at the enemy chamber. And the Firebirds have planted the spike. Satchel out. My apologies, my producer told me that it was the Golden Knights. I'm not aware that it is the Black Knights for the West Point. Uh, One enemy remaining. Uh, so my apologies going forward. Uh, I will be sure to say the Black Knights. The Black Knights, just as I say that, defuse the spike and take round 15, giving them the 8-7 advantage.
Firebirds not having nearly the same amount of luck as they did on uh, on their run during defense. It's a, mod, it's a lot more uh, gritty, clear and cut, even battle going on right now. Hopefully they equalize here as the round starts in just five seconds. You want to play? Let's play. Firebirds are pushing B again. Hoping for a different result this time. The Firebirds chamber has altered, giving himself a free operator with five shots that also releases a slow orb whenever they get a kill. And he's going to watch the flanks to make sure no one tries to rotate as the Firebirds go and rotate to showers in B. The Black Knights do hear that teleporter go off, though. Who's next? Are able to promptly check out the showers. Larry able to pick off Nico as they try to ult. Firebirds now being backed off the site. As Atmos 1 gets one pick. That is promptly taken care of by Larry. 3v4 situation, definitely doable for the Firebirds as I think they are trying to try a new angle of attack going forward. Thirty seconds left. Yes, the Firebirds are going to rotate all the way to B site. Time to end Running out of left. time here, the Firebirds do have to push quickly. Oh. Get a pair. And another. The plant might be just in time. One second left. There. Oh, and the timer expires Out just charges. beforehand. Tony trying to reposition where that spike is. Just spent too much time doing so. The Black Knights go up 9 7. Can I get a drop? Thanks. And it seems that the Firebirds are going to take a timeout here, which means we'll go on a quick minute long break here. And we'll be right back. Can I get a drop? Thanks. And we're back here as the Firebirds are about to start round uh, 17. Hopefully that reset there will help them out. They do have an okay economy going. Um, as they go and they actually go with the split. They have chamber lurking for them uh, around A to make some noise, make sure that they don't rotate too quickly. Uh, and the rest of the four are going to go through B site to try and take it. Pull cat. Velocity knife trying to flash anyone coming in. And the recon oh. does have the presence detected. Tony tries to ult and is unable to get anyone and in fact is picked off himself by Velocity Knife, who's playing extremely well as Sky, timing the flashes perfectly, and the game has been quite on point. Nico able to pick off Solitary with Larry coming back and trading for slow tank. Spike down, B. Firebirds having a little bit of a tough time now, trying to plant as they know they have two more they have to deal with and they're unaware of where they are. Nico trying to peek a little left. bit. One 
enemy remaining. That's three. And Shrimple's waiting for a play around this standing. corner, but Happy Samoyed is able to get the pick. Ten and seconds hopefully left. they can plant in time. Spike. They're running out of time again. Either plant or get the pick. Happy Samoyed is planting. And this time does get the spike down and is able to teleport away before Larry can get the pick. They're now both aware of where the other one is. Ah, oh, and Larry just has a little bit better aim this time around. And is able to win round, the, their 10th round for the Black Knights. No fireworks today, I'm afraid. For all the Firebirds doing pretty well uh, in terms of economy, they're all able to full buy this round. Uh, yeah, the economy, it's in, a, it's in a good place for both teams. They've been managing really well. This is pretty much a full buy round for both teams. Uh, Firebirds, though, have no alts at their, at their disposal this round and probably won't be able to get one even with the ultimate orbs around the map. Whereas the Black Knights do have three at their disposal. They have Chambers, Instant Operator, Velocity Knives, uh... Uh, seek seeking out orbs. And one more that I didn't quite get to see in time. As the Firebirds try to push a side right now. And there it is. We see Larry alting right now with the instant operator. Trying to put it to use. Happy Samoy trying to get a wall bang on the sky that was picked up by the tracer ability of Sova. Ready. Firebirds trying to push through showers and a main, trying to get a two pronged attack. But it is taking a little bit of time, which is allowing the Black Knights to rotate. Fight down A. This is a nice trade there by both teams. Now going to 4v3 situation. Another nice pick by Kaleoth. Kaleoth bolting. Just missing the mark. Trying their best to see where they are. Solitary able to dodge the so Last player standing. Kaleoth patiently watching the upper angle. Almost able to get the pick, but Solitary is able to get the headshot a lot easier. Just due to the angle. Now in a 2v1 situation, the Firebirds need to just play a little more defensive, I think. Make sure they stay alive, make sure this spike isn't defused. It does seem like that's what they're going to do. Solitary now moving though, and is instantly picked up by Nico, able to get the pick. Firebirds take round 18. We're going into round 19 now, 8 to 10. Nico doing extremely well in terms of kills for the Firebirds, leading the leaderboard. Shrimples also with 19 uh, for the century. Black Knights. Black Knights economy not looking as great as it did last round. I think they're trying to decide between half buy and full buy right now. Firebirds are able to full buy after that win, with Kaleoth picking up four kills that last round, I'll find uh, which him. brought him all the way to his ultimate, which I wasn't expecting. I know I said we shouldn't expect any Firebird ultimates, but they did happen because Kaleoth popped off. Uh, and now moving forward, the Firebirds are going to try and rush B side, it looks like, through Hookah and Main. And no Black Knights have rotated yet, which this could be very advantageous for the Firebirds. They've now taken control of the site, and they just need to pick off the few people surrounding it. They should be able to plant the spike right here. Larry able to pick off Happy Samoyed. I'll just say it now. I think Larry is definitely winning the chamber battle in terms of the keys today. Larry gets another pick on Coney. Nico ulting to try and gather information for his team to let you know where they are. Unable to... Quite pull off and break. Kaleoff popping off again with two more kills. Unable to continue as DeSong does take him out. Here. DeSong now defusing the spike. One enemy so much. Nico will get at least one pick before dying himself. This does leave the uh, Black Knights and not the best situation for their economy, but they are going to go for the full buy. They do trust their ability to win this next round, as they only need two more rounds. The Firebirds are kind of a tighter spot for their economy right now, as uh, they do still go for the full buy. Some of them a half buy. Uh, Happy Samoyed, I think, is going to try an ult. 
Uh, that's why he did not buy a gun. So I think he'll go for the free operator and save his economy after buying full shields. You want to play? Let's play. And now the Firebirds are going to try their luck pushing B. Happy Samoyed trying to hold the angle at... Uh, show uh, not showers, at Hookah. And also watching the flank. Found them. Solitary's alarm bot is triggered, so I think they are aware of the Firebirds push now on B. That is the case as we see some rotations now from A. But the Firebirds take the teleporter just as everyone's rotating. You want to fight the Shrimple's it. waiting there, Spike easily gets two A. picks on Kony and Kaleoff. Maybe the third One on the Astra, remaining. yes, wow. Shrimple's, what a play. Being patient. Chamber now going through 1v5, gets one of the picks. Enemy detected, he knows that someone is rotating now from the bottom mid. Out. Velocity knife going for the flash, it just misses the mark. As he's now surrounded by the Black Knights. Unable to get a pick there. The song's able to clean it up. It is now on to match point for the Black Knights. Well, I guess game match, point. match point. point for the 24 rounds we play. Uh, game point for the best of three maps. And the Firebirds are a little bit in shambles with their economy. You'd love to see them being able to full buy here, but they're only able to get some specters. Couple vandals, couple vandals out there, but only one of them able to have full shield, and it's due to the fact that he ulted last round. Whereas the Black Knights on a full buy completely with full vandals and full shields, it'll be tough for the Firebirds going forward as they disperse their troops all over the map, trying to throw them off in any way they can. Chamber making noise at B site. Nico gets a nice pick. But Shrimples returns the favor and trades off for the opponent raise. Time to jump. Slumdank pushing through Hookah now. Song able to get a pick. Almost able to get another pick. Spike down B. One enemy remaining. And the Firebirds will lose Defenders map win. one of the series. 13 to 8. Good game by both teams. Uh, we're going to take a quick little break as before we go into, I believe the next map is Breeze. So now also match point for the Black Knights going forward, and we'll be right back with it in just a minute.
And we are back with the Firebirds taking on the Black Knights. We're here on map two, Breeze. Uh, not the most favorable map one on Bind for the Firebirds. Um, I think going forward, one of the keys they need to do is, frankly, they just need to hit their shots more. They kept taking aim battles. Um, and, you know, if, you, if you're going to keep taking those, you got to hit your shots. Um, and, frankly, they just weren't hitting their shots the same way that the Black Knights were able to. Um, Velocity Knife will be t playing Sky on this round. Shrimple is playing Sova. They're going for the double initiators. Uh, Jet will be played by Solitary, uh, with Larry taking Chamber again, as well as DeSong playing Viper. So we're seeing two different characters for the Black Knights this time around. And for the Firebirds who are attacking first, Slumdank will be playing Viper with Coney on Chamber. Uh, Reyna now by Nico, which we have not seen. We saw him playing Yoru the last round. Uh, Sky will be played Select by Cry Cryotic, which is a sub for the Firebirds, taking the place of Kaleoth. And Happy Samoyed will be playing Jet. They will be going with the double duelist for the Firebirds. One Initiator, one, uh, Sentinel, and one Controller. Now, the interesting thing about Breeze is it is the... Pretty much the largest map in the game. Uh, it takes a very long time to rotate from A site to B site, which makes it very hard to hold. You know, you got to really hold mid well uh, for Breeze in order to be effective. And hopefully the Firebirds are able to do that. But first we will get to see them attack as we're seeing a couple of shields bought by each team for uh, round one, but everyone seems to be sticking to just the uh, regular old... Uh, Pistol, which is uh, the basic gun that is free for everyone at the start of the round. Um, but I think I saw Jet, was it, for the Firebirds, uh, opting for a Sheriff, which is the most expensive gun you can buy in round one. Takes all 800 of your credits, but it is a one-shot kill to the head. Um, Shrimples will go for the Ghost, which is a much more accurate and silenced version of the uh, regular pistol. 
Um, and Larry Peepong will try to uh, take his uh, headhunter out with their bullets. We're seeing a similar uh, buy done by the Black Knights as it's a full rush of B. It does not seem like, yes, wow, the Firebirds just completely handled taking B and the Black Knights will now have to play for retake. They only had Chamber and a little bit of Viper watching B, which meant that they were unable to really hold off the Firebirds. Now it's a complete game of retake. We'll see what they can do. But Tony and Happy Samoyed able to get picks. But Larry, there he is with his head, uh, with his uh, headhunter and pistol, able to get another pick, trading oh. that off. It is now two to four in favor of the Firebirds as they try to hold one off. enemy remaining. Now just one person. And they're able to get that win, only losing two people along the way. Excellent job by the Firebirds in the pistol round to win round one. They're coming out strong. I like this rushdown tactic, especially on Breeze, where it takes a long time for uh, the defenders to rotate to a different site. It really does become a guessing game for the defenders if they are going to keep rushing down because they are not allowing the time needed for a full rotation. And I like that. I think they should keep that up if they want to have success on attack. Um, It seems that now the attackers, uh, our Firebirds, have opted to... One of them got a Phantom, which is also probably the most expensive... Uh, Second most, third most expensive gun in the game, but the best assault rifle uh, tied with the Vandal. Uh, the pros of the Phantom in, in uh, comparison to the Vandal is the Phantom has untraceable bullets, so when it's shot, you can't really see where the bullets were coming from, as well as uh, it is a lot easier to control the recoil. Happy Samoy gets a nice pick on Larry using the Marshall, which is another one-shot kill for headshots. It's basically a sheriff, but it has a scope. Firebirds unable to really rush down A as I'm sure they would have liked to, uh, but they do get a pick along the way. Jet holding mid now, Nico Jackson holding mid now down. for the Firebirds, uh, waiting to see if anyone's going to try and peek through. And we're kind of at a standstill, but I don't think anyone has noticed that Viper and Chamber have completely rotated down. for the Firebirds. No one is waiting there on site B for them, and they're able to easily just walk in there and play at the spike. Jet now trying to figure out, oh my gosh, there's a spike in the plant, where is it? But unable to do so before the Firebirds can plant, now leaving the uh, Black Knights to retake with only two people against the Firebirds three. Last player Velocity standing. Knife unable to land the shot that they needed to in order to take out Cryotic, and Cryotic easily takes advantage, forcing the issue, making sure that that pick is there. Viper now in a 1v3 situation with very little health. And now they know exactly where Viper is as Chamber's uh, trademark ability slows them down and lets them know where on the map that person was just slowed down. Slowed down. Firebird's now actually taking a really aggressive approach. They're gonna hunt Viper down. Unspotted yet. And the bomb has, Spike has gone off, which means that the Firebirds take round two and the song Though DeSong, though, is able to pick up a Phantom, which will help the economy for round three for the Black Knights. The Black Knights now have a Vandal, uh, three Vandals, a Spectre, which is a submachine gun, and a Marshal, which is the... Uh, sorry, that was the Firebirds, I meant. Three Vandals. Whereas, wow, the Double Down is being put in place now by the Black Knights as they go for a full buy round. They all buy shields, and they all buy the best assault rifle they can. They are really hoping to stop the Firebirds here. Firebirds are going for their rush tactic that they used in round one. Cryotic is slowed, slowed down, so good uh, adaptability by Larry Peapog, even though he was just picked off, to uh, place the trademarks around where they spike would rush. Planted. Just doesn't work out for him this time as the Firebirds are able to plant the spike and once again, the Black Knights are in a close play scenario. They're trying to push in, they're trying to get their flashes, their walls go and control it, get any kind of cheeky picks they can in order to make this numbers battle go a little better. Solitary able to get happy some more. That'll help. And the Firebird's down to two people left. Slumdank trying to put poison on the side. Player standing. Triples will get the defuse, I think, while they push Slumdank. 
slum gang picked off by Shrimples, which will leave the Black Knights able to take round three. Or not. I Sorry, I guess the spike detonated just in time. Slum Dank with the clutch. Uh, normally, I would be able to hear uh, the uh, spikes beeping sound, which is a clear way to show whether or not uh, how much time is left for the Firebirds uh, to defend it before the spike goes off. I just wasn't able to that time. Uh, I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties with game sound. So pardon me on missing those things. Um, but it was nicely done by the uh, Firebirds stalling just long enough to make sure that spike could not be diffused. Um, typically, I believe the number is it's 45 seconds once the spike is planted before it is blown up. Firebirds now going for a much more split up approach as Reyna enters an aim battle with Solitary. Nico, on very low health, is not willing to take any more, and Velocity Knife gets a knife pick on, pick on, nice pick on Happy Samoy toward the middle of the field. Box and screen down. Spike planted. Firebirds have been able to plant though, and they do get a pick along the way. They planted on A site there, aware of the fact that uh, the back of A site is where they need to worry about. And Nico does end up winning the. And battle he's having, remaining. and gets another pick along the way against Velocity Knife. Now leaving Larry Peek on the last one left, he's slowed down by Coney's trademark, and they get the pick. The Firebirds go up four to zero on map two, Breeze. This, now, as I said, they were in a double down scenario, so economy's not looking great for the uh, Black Knights. Not able to do the full buy that they were able to. Still able to get a decent amount of weapons, a couple vandals, and uh, a guardian and a phantom. Um, it does seem like Happy Samoid for the Firebirds is going to alt as they are opting not to buy a gun this get round. Get out of my way! Hopefully they get the pick and are able to pick up a gun. Firebirds now attempting to push on to B, getting some intel gathered by the sky. Triple's almost able to pick off Jet, but unable to do so. Larry does get a pick though on Coney, and it's traded by Slumdank. Welcome to my world. Firebirds with a clear numbers advantage of four to two, but Slumdank does alt to try and deny point B. Firebirds don't care though, as the uh, uh, the Firebirds force the issue though, Mike as planted. they do. Plant on B, leaving them in a very advantageous situation. Frankly, I think that the uh, the Black Knights are better off just keeping their guns, keeping their uh, economy a little bit safer, and just not going for the post plant on this one. And that does seem like what they are opting to do as they are going to the very opposite side of the map. Stay away from the spike until it detonates. The Firebirds getting really aggressive here on Breeze, understanding how long it takes for rotations to happen. And it's working out so far as they do seem to be about to take round five. And there we go, the spike has detonated, the attackers win round five, Firebirds up 5-0. The Black Knights do need to make something happen here, whether they go for a full push on one side and play for retake on the other, I don't know. They need to shake something up as the Firebirds have them all figured out at the moment. Firebirds do seem like they're going to go ahead and attack A. And the Black Knights do seem to be favoring A right now. Chamber setting up his trademark so we can get a little bit fast. Uh, not trademarks. Uh, anchors. Rendezvous, I believe the actual term is for in the game. Uh, his teleport anchors, essentially, in order to have some uh, space. You want to play? Let's play. Cut down that time in between rotations. Reyna lurking in mid, trying to get any picks of anyone trying to rotate. Firebirds are denied A because the Viper on A alts, and yeah. you just don't want to play with the Viper's pit. And so they will try to rotate. It's going to be met by Jet. Will they get the pick? They try to. Chamber alts and gets the shot off on Jet. Coney gets a pick. Nico then gets Shrimples. 5v3 situation. The song may be leaving the Viper's Pit in order to try and handle this. 
Happy Samoyed pushing in. They might actually still be trying to take A. And there it is. Nico takes out to Song, which gets rid of the Viper's Pit. This should lock down the plant on A. And another nice pick, though, by Larry Peepaw, who also off. In order to try and even this out. Quick sniper by him. Firebirds are holding very nice angles, though. Velocity Knife now trying to force the issue and push in and get a little space. Player oh, but gives away the position to Jack by trying to shoot in there. Larry Peepaw does get a nice snipe, though, off on Cryotic, but Happy Samoyed trades it for the win for the Firebirds, who are now up 6-2-0. That was a lot of alts used by um, uh, the Black Knights yeah. that round. I don't know if it was the most advisable thing, especially if you don't win the round. Um, the Firebirds now have two alts at their disposal. One's a recon gathering Anyone info alt for Velocity, uh, for you. not for Velocity, for Cryotic. Uh, though Velocity Knife also has their Sky alt. Nico has a purely yeah. offensive alt, as Reyna is a character that relies solely on you being really good at hitting your shots. So you hit as most of her abilities come from the fact that you get a kill. The Firebirds will have Nico lurk up mid again and easily gets the pick on the. I believe that that jet was alting. I've got so that's your really train. unfortunate for the Black Knights as that's wasted and gets another pick on Desong their controller, which will lower so the Viper wall that they had set. Larry though finally handles Nico, saying, "All right, that's planted. been enough." The Firebirds do take control of a site and do plant the spike. Wow. This is some purely incredible offense, though, by the Firebirds. Velocity Knife does try to ult just to get some reconnaissance going, and does not work as Cryotic reads right through it and takes out Velocity Knife. Last player standing. And there's the final pick on Larry. As the Firebirds now go up 7-0, seven, seven unanswered wins by the Firebirds. The rushdown tactic does seem to be working on Breeze, and the Black Knights just have no way to deal with it. Black Knights still opting to hold both sites, and the Firebirds doing a... I'm trying to tell, uh, it's, they've definitely got Jet lurking. Um, and Reyna will lurk through mid, with three of them pushing Let's B. Go. An interesting strategy that we haven't seen yet. Jet will now go to the sniper post. Um, as this round starts. Velocity Knife waiting to see anyone peek through there. It seems like Jet will in a second. Velocity Knife misses their shot though. The Firebirds are now rushing through. And a, frankly, I'm gonna call it a lucky shot by Happy Samoyed gets Larry Peepog right in the head as the Viper Wall raises. There's almost complete control of B site. Nico even gets Last the pick on triples. Kony gets a pick on Velocity Knife. It's now a 5v1 situation for Solitary, who will get one before going down as the attackers win round eight. Here. Eight unanswered rounds by the Firebirds. Complete turnaround in pressure from what we saw in Bind. They are dominating right now. The economy is going pretty okay for both teams right now as by losing enough matches in a row, you also get a decent amount of money. Uh, which, frankly, that's what we've been seeing by the Black uh, Knights so far. Teleport ready. That's good. Black Knights, their top, there. their top frag only has six kills, and that's Larry P. Pog. Everyone else struggling to get more than three. Maybe they'll get it this round as the Firebirds now make a push through A with Nico once again lurking in mid. The strategy we've seen work countless times. We've already got a quick rotate though coming from the people at B. Nico may not be able to tell when they get there, and it might be the end for Nico if he does not turn. But he's gonna push into the site anyway, try and get the quick picks. Almost able to do so on Jet, misses the shots just a little bit. Chambers coming from behind, gets a couple shots off on Nico. I'm not sure Nico's aware of Chamber. Larry Peepaw able to get the pick and Velocity a. Knife gets one on Cryotic. This now leaves the Firebirds in a 5v2 scenario. It's not in their favor. But Slum Gun does get one pick. But it's traded out. Leaving Happy Samoyed in a 1v4. 
they do get the first pick. They seem to know that someone's there. They can tell Sky's there, I think. I get that second left. pick. A very, very accurate headshot is what they need. Orb admitting. Just not Boys quite able off. to get it. Oh my gosh! And another accurate headshot by Happy Samoyed. Able to get the spike. They gotta rush in and plant quickly. They're gonna need that last pick. Boys and Ten seconds left. Not quite able to get it as DeSong gets the pick that finally puts the Black Knights on the board. A one to eight deficit now for the Black Knights that they're trying to turn around. But, oddly enough, right after a win, that's when the defenders, the Black Knights, will take their timeouts. So we'll be back in just a minute. And we are back here as we go into round 10. The uh, Black Knights took their time out. Hopefully they've changed up their game plan a little bit, trying to make sure that they can put a stop to these Firebirds. They're able to do it once. They've got to do it 12 more times to win the map and win the game. Um, They're now setting up a little bit weirder. They're, they're a little heavier toward B site this time around, but the Firebirds are spread out all over the map right now with access to an operator to hold much larger angles. Kony almost gets the pick on song. Nico, loving that midfield. Loving that midfield. Always able to get a couple picks before being picked off. But not this time, a solitary is able to get the pick first. This might be the, that timeout might've been the key change in momentum that they needed. Maybe, maybe they just need to slow down the Firebirds for just a little bit. Maybe they just need to throw them off their rhythm. Hopefully not. I think the Firebirds are gonna keep rolling here. Firebirds unsure of where they're gonna push right now. I, they'd have a good advantage if they push B. Nice pick by Happy Samoyed on Shrimples. Tell you what, I said they gotta start hitting their shots if they're gonna keep doing aim battles. They've been hitting their shots, especially Happy Samoyed this round. I think their aim has been pretty on point so far and I've been happy to watch it. I've been happy Samoyed to watch it. Larry P. Paul able to pick up Cryotic, defending down the site on their own. Viper though for the Firebirds, Will Alt, trying to take control of that choke point. A velocity knife gets a pick on them somehow. <laughs> Solitary picked off by Happy Samoyed, whose aim is just not missing right now. Firebirds need to push sight quick if they're gonna play. Ten seconds Happy left. Samoyed gets another pick. It's now one person left. And it seems like the Firebirds are gonna give up on this round. Unless they can get a pick with the operator right now, which they're not gonna be able to do because that jet has left the point completely. Not jet, uh, that, uh, that sky has left the point completely. My bad, I confused the colors for a little bit and thought the Firebirds were the defenders for a second. Moving forward though, we have Happy Samoyed leading the Firebirds with 12 kills, only five deaths. They're rocking a Vandal. We've got Vandals all around. Coney's choosing to go with the Operator. Um, And Shrimples, I don't think had a weapon before the start of this uh, round. They do end up buying a Phantom, which Here. means that both teams are on full buy. So, quick shots, Definitely. accuracy is what's going to be the most important during this round. The Firebirds do try to rush A. Larry P, not quite ready for that wall this time. Unable to get him. The hunt begins. And now the Firebirds can't quite plant the spike Fight down. as Song kicks off Slumdank. And Larry P is able to pick off Nico. Night, night. 
Cobras do finally plant the spike. It is now a 4v2 situation, yeah. though. It's gonna be a tough hold as the Black Knights now push way. for post play. We see a lot of utility being used. Last player standing. Happy Samoyed unable to play to pick up the last knife. This is gonna be tough for the chamber. They have their rendezvous destroyed. They cannot tell them away. They do get a pick on whoever was defusing the spike. They get another pick. Holding down the spike incredibly well. Viper's gonna ult and put an end to that one. Ooh, just not quite able to line it up off of where the... Off of where uh, their teammates were marking. Which allowed Sova to come down and get the pick. Last round that will before be the switch. The second round, third round in a row that the Black Knights win. That timeout really did change the momentum. We see another full by round going though in both ways. Firebirds do not plan on slowing down at all. Here we The Black Knights have two alts at their disposal, both for uh, strictly damage. You want to play? The chamber Let's alt play. can create a slow choke, choke point if they do get a pick using it. I've got your Fire Roads, uh, I'm not quite sure how many alts they have at their, their disposal, but they don't care because they're pushing in. They're taking out Ross and Mac. Reaper takes out another one using the Reyna abilities uh, because when Reyna gets a kill, it drops a solo orb. Solitary getting a nice pick on Kony, though, using the quick operator peek. Get down. Oh my gosh, Nico is just dominating right now. I think that's four kills. Could we possibly see the ace here by Nico? We do! There's an ace by Nico taking out all five of the Black Knights. Man, that's gotta hurt. That might slow down their momentum just a bit there. The Firebirds are up nine to three. This is the, that was the last round uh, before the switch. So now the Firebirds are going to have to defend. Like I said previously, Breeze, a notoriously hard map to defend just due to its severe size. The Firebirds are going to have one person watch B, two people watch mid, and two people on B, though, as the Black Knights do seem to want to go up B. Wow, that was a good ace by Nico that last round, showing exactly why people play Reyna. The ability to heal and get out of there the moment they get a kill, because one of the abilities is whenever they get a kill, they can either heal themselves or they can become completely, uh, like, what's the word? Like, transparent, but like, it also lets things pass through you. Uh, so therefore they can't be hurt. Nico not quite able to get that first pick though, that's okay. And a quick plant there by planted. the Black Knights. Solitary holding the angle, not quite sure if they know that Happy Smite is there. Slumdank throwing down the wall. On that wall, uh, Toxin Orb. They're trying to push in there, make sure they can blind anyone they can. Alright, there's a few people. Oh, but Kony did not know that there was a Black Knight waiting right around the corner. Slumdank, even while in disarray, able remaining. to get two picks on the opposing oh, team. The and there's the final pick by Slumdank, who I believe got three kills that round, maybe four. Last player standing. Just Clutch. not quite in time to defuse the spike. Very close, but a nice clutch. Score is now 4-9. The Firebirds need to win four more rounds to take map two. And if they do so, we'll be moving on to Icebox, a much smaller map in comparison to Breeze. I'm excited to see how that works. Also notoriously a good map for Viper mains, which we see two Vipers on both teams, so I'm excited to see how that would play out. And I'm hoping we go to map three for our fire mains. The song picking up the kill pace though for uh, the Black Knights, now having 11 kills. But the top two players on the Firebirds both have over 12 kills. Showing that the game battle that I was talking about is going in favor of the Firebirds this time around. A nice pick there by Solitary Stratic. Did not have the gun advantage there. Oh my gosh, Shrimple having some nice aim, but finally put down by Coney with the pistol. Teleport ready. Coney doing what 
what they can to uh, take the site. They do pick remaining. up a gun, and that is able to force the issue of getting rid of the song. And they are going to defuse. Not quite solitary. Does not allow that to happen. Able to get in there and clutch up as the Firebirds lose round 14. We're going here into round 15 now. Uh, the score is 9-5 to five in favor of the Firebirds. Not great economies on the either side because of the back and forth it's, we've had. Mostly specters and light shields. Uh, we're seeing a couple heavy shields. Oh, Overall, this is going to be a lot more rat-like tactics as both teams try to save their economy this round. All set up. Larry P. Pog creeping up through the middle. They do get the kill on Nico as Nico loses that aim. Uh, and the Black Knights are pushing toward B, with a couple rotating toward mid. Deploying drone. Trimple's trying to get some recon going. Doesn't quite turn enough to see, just at the nick of time, sees that the sky is holding the immediate angle. Cryotic then moves because they know they've been seen. Firebirds are now rotating to A as they find out that that's actually where the Black Knights were pushing. So now they have to play for retake. Spike planted. And do their best to do so. There he gets some picks as well as shrimples. Going quite well for the Firebirds, but Coney does get a nice trade there. It's now a 2v3 situation. Standing. Firebirds try, just are not quite able to do it. It is now 6-9 in favor of the Firebirds still, but the attackers seem to have a clear advantage due to the severe size of the map. Um, the Black Knights are now approaching to the Equalizer. Uh, the Firebirds do have one alt at their disposal. It's the Jet alt, so it's clearly purely offensive, and it seems that she, uh, Jet is planning on using it because they did not buy a weapon this round to save the economy, and the Black Knights have two alts at their disposal. The Viper's Pit, which would help in a post-plant scenario, as well as Shrimples, which will also help in a post-plant scenario. Denying space and being able to attack from across the map into the walls to gain some information. We see the Black Knights seeming like they're gonna try and do a full push of B. Firebirds do have a nice setup of B so far. Ooh, and Desong gets a, finds a nice angle and gets the pick on Cryotic. Happy Samoyed trying to get in there before the spike can be planted. Not quite able to do so. One thing that uh, is worth noting is that this map, Breeze, did see some changes to B-Point within the past couple weeks that maybe not all players are quite used to yet. They added a different wall and they uh, added another box for cover. Um, that does make it a lot harder to play on, I think, especially when, you know, you've got to be on your A game, A game, and the map just is still a little fresh to you. Frankly, also on Bind, there was also a couple minor changes to how the map worked. The song does whip One out that uh, Viper ult, and it does work as the attackers win. Now the Firebirds only ahead by two rounds. They, I don't think they have won a round. They've won one round since the sides have switched. Uh, this does put their economy in a rough spot um, as they seem to be buying light shields, a couple heavy shields, pistols only. Uh, but Nico will go with the Vandal, trying to double down and get some kills. Um, but spot. the opposing Black Knights able to do a full buy round uh, as their economy is in great shape. Slumdank does seem like they're about ready to just alt point A and just deny it to them completely. As the Firebirds set up on point B, and that's exactly what happens. Firebirds trying to do a really aggressive strategy on defense and rush down and pincer the Black Knights before they can even have the chance to rotate. Doesn't quite work out for Nico as Solitary is able to pick him off. Black Knights are attempting a rotation though. Nice job by the Firebirds Viper to lock down A and deny it to them. About to see a firefight going here. Happy Samoyed has ulted. Try and take out Solitary in just a moment here. 
both unaware of each other's presence. Kony gets a nice pick on DeSong as they have also ulted. But Happy Samoyed cannot hit the shot that needs to be hit. Triadic now, trying to hold down the point, make sure no one comes there. Black Knight's taking a really off angle, yeah. and they think they're gonna try and rotate back to A to throw off the Firebirds. 30 seconds left. Four three scenario, Slumdang unable to get out of the way of Velocity One Knife now for the one scenario. As yes, the Black Knights will go back to A and try and plant there. Spike planted. Larry does get the plant off just in the nick of time. Tony trying to go for a pick on anyone he might see. Oh, but not quite in time as Velocity Knife gets the instant headshot. Wow, one round away from equalizing. The Black Knight's doing incredibly well at taking this game back. The economy looking a little better for the Firebirds, but they will take a timeout and try and readjust and try to stop this onslaught. We will be right back. And we're back here. The Firebirds did take their time out just before the start of round 18. They're going to do their best to put a halt to the amazing offense that's been provided by the Black Knight for the past yeah. eight rounds, really. Um, the Firebirds able to do a full buy as well as the Black Knight's able to do a full buy. So it really will come down to aim here. Uh, the utility I've will got help. Your trail. Both teams just have to play really well. Nico trying to retreat immediately as Take Black Knight's heavy quick quick take of a site able to pick off Nico along the way happy Samoy can't quite land the shot but slum dagging it up you want to play let's play firebirds now playing for retake as the spike has been planted they do have the numbers advantage and hopefully going forward they can just get the defuse off Jet is going for it. Oh, that triple will bring out that ult that I was talking about. That's great for post plant. And take care of Happy Samoy. Kony misses his shot on Pat on uh, Trimples. Unable to take care of it. And he will try to get out of there before the spike detonates, which he does. We are now tied up at 9 to 9. That is not a phrase I was expecting to say after that attacking half by the Firebirds. It just goes to show that the attackers do have a clear advantage here on Breeze due to the size. I know I've said it a lot, but I, I just can't. It's it's hard to ignore just how clear the attackers have an advantage here. The Black Knights will go for another full buy, as I don't think many of them even lost their guns last round. The Firebirds will be at about a half buy, some of them going for the... Full buy on guns, some going for the full buy on shields. And we will see what they can do as it seems like the Black Knights will try to push through B side. Get out of my way! Tony, I'm not even gonna land that shot again uh, as the Black Knights try to push through. Does get that one on solitary, but then is quickly traded away with Velocity Knife. 4v4 situation. As Cryotic tries to initiate the charge on the retake. And Nico and Cryotic are both taken out on their attempt. <laughs> Happy Samoyed gets a nice quick little pick on Velocity Knife before being able to retreat. Slum Dank is trying to creep on in. But One the angle enemy is being watched. And oh. 
Happy Samoyed winning another little aim battle with Larry P. Popong. One enemy Happy remaining. Happy Samoyed getting another kill there. One more to go. They will be taken out though by the song. Just in the nick of time. Black Knights now up 10 to 9 against the Firebirds. Able to full buy once again just because of. Frankly, I think. I, what? Is that really. I think it's 10 wins in a row by them. Um. Yeah, the Firebirds not able to even do a half buy. A lot of them are on economy mode this, this round. Go. Um, One alt at their disposal. I believe it was the Viper alt by Slumdank. Not quite, no, I was I was wrong about that one. I, I don't know which alt I saw, but the Black Knights are going to try and push A. But the Firebirds are favoring B in their holding. Jet's trying to rotate now. Happy Simone tries to throw off the aim of Larry P. Is able to do so. Slum Dank gets a nice pick. A. Nico also gets a pick. Nico gets another pick. Larry, though, returns the favor up on the catwalk with Happy Samoyed being taken out. Last player standing. 4v1 scenario now as Nico gets another kill on Velocity Knife. And Cryotic able to finally force the issue and tie it back up 10 10. As the Firebirds take their first round on defense, and hopefully that becomes a trend as we go forward. Oh, but just in the nick of time. The moment they lose their round, we have a timeout now by the Black Knights. We'll be back in just a minute. And we're back here as the start of round 20 here. As the Firebirds finally got some momentum going and I think the Black Knights tried to shut it down real quick by calling a minute long timeout. Not sure what they talked about there, not sure what could have really been talked about there. I think it was strictly just to play a mind game with the Firebirds. Let's see if it works. As the Firebirds spread out across the map again. As the Black Knights are going to try and push through a site. Nico falling back to take a much more passive angle. Larry P going on through the catwalk, trying to do their best to get through like they did last time. About to end her an aim battle with Nico. Nico wins that one. Larry P, Nico is turning up for the Firebirds right now. They're holding a site. And it seems like the Black Knights are either about to rotate or they're trying to commit through the high ground. It does seem like they are going to begin the rotation. Sky has ulted for the Firebirds. Spike down, attacker spawn. Cryotic does get a pick. Cryotic also about to get another pick. Nice play by Cryotic. Nice ult overall. Velocity Knife trying to return the favor on the jet. Not quite able to get happy. Uh, happy Last player standing. And in fact, Coney will Spike creep up behind a. and get them. And a nice little knife there by Happy Samoyed using their alt on solitary to win round 11. Firebirds take the lead again. The economy not in the best spot now for the uh, Black Knights as they are probably on their last round where they can full buy unless they win this one. Uh, Larry P will look like he's going to alt as he did, he opted not to buy a gun and decided to save his economy, deciding not to go all in. Uh, in fact, we see that same choice of Velocity Knife as they go for a Marshall. Or someone bought them a Vandal instead. They are going to go for it. They're going all in on this one. They you want to play? Let's play. Uh, Firebirds. Blinded. Not. Uh, we have a quick push by the Firebirds from a site as the Black Knights are pushing through mid, undecided of where they're going to go yet. 
Does seem they're gonna favor a little more towards B and try to push there. Quick shots though by Kony. Nice headshot from across the map. Larry P has ulted. Nico able to fall down and get two picks on them. Nice aim there by Nico. Absolutely clutching up for the Firebirds. Song's trying to push alone with Sova onto B side. Kony's there, they will ult, but is immediately taken down Spike by Kony down, B. as they just ulted in the nick of their uh, field of vision. Sova now alone in the corner as all Firebirds now make a grand rapid pace toward Shrimples who's hiding in a corner right now, doing everything they can. Kony's ready for the little peek and gets the pick immediately. Defenders win. We're on to game point for the Firebirds. Trying to take us to Icebox. Match point. Here we go. Two alts at their disposal for the Firebirds, as Nico and uh, Kony both have alts. Both offensive alts. We may not see Konies in this round, as they are able to full buy. Um, okay. And for the Black Knights, uh, we have a full buy round, except for Solitary, who's unable to buy full shields. So yeah. it really seems like it's coming down to this one right here. Uh, Velocity Knife there. for the Black Knights does have their alt. That'll be good for Recon. And slowing down uh, opponents. But Nico out with an immediate pick on Velocity Knife. And then Nico getting another one on Larry before Solitary trades it out. It's now a 4v3 in favor of the Firebirds. DeSong is up top. Not gonna force the issue up there. Slumdank gets a nice pick on Solitary. 4v2. The Firebirds don't need to get aggressive here. Kony holding down the alt, holding down the long angle with his operator, which is a one-shot kill no matter where you're hit. Shrimple's trying to push through. Ooh, and gets a nice pick on Kony before uh, being shot. This does give away where everyone is, though, as Happy Samoyed uh, is ready and watching the top of the point. Not quite, though. As DeSong gets a pick, now it's a 2v2 situation. Enemy remaining. Oh, and there's a pick slum dank gets on DeSong, which leaves just Sova left. He's gonna try and plant. Last player standing. Hot down. Oh, it's a 1v1 situation. The spike will be planted. planted. Cryotic cat. needs to come in clutch for the Firebirds here. Pull cat! Blinded. Able to get the flash and a few shots there on, on Shrimples. One more shot should do it. As Shrimples is starting to evacuate. No the way. fake defuse. They're going for lineups, though. That's impressive, those hit. Oh, and the ult. There it is. Trying to buy just enough time. I can't hear the buzzer, so it might have been enough. I'm unsure. They're going for the defuse. Will it be in time? It is! The Firebirds take map two! Cryotic win. clutching up for the Firebirds. We are Good going stop. to map three on Icebox. As the Firebirds win Breeze. Big key for the Firebirds was that defense. You know, after the timeout, they were able to clean it up and they came in clutch. Nico having some really great aim. I admire Nico and Happy Samoids. Aim battles those times. We're about to go on a five minute break though. Uh, and I'm looking forward to see what happens on Icebox. We'll see you then.
you gave it up before you even tried, before you even gave it a shot. So why should I feel helpless? Why should I feel useless now? So find another way to get into my arms, to get into my heart again. Cause why should I feel helpless? Why should I feel useless now? And we are back for the exciting conclusion of week one of the NECC League with the Firebirds taking on the West Point Black Knights, the U.S. Army Academy. Uh, we are here on map three, Icebox. We saw the Black Knights win on map one, Bind. We saw the Firebirds win on map two with Nico showing an impressive display of Weapon accuracy, in fact, getting an ace in round 12, killing all five of them. Um, and here we are in Icebox, notoriously a great map for Viper, uh, which we see that both teams, their controllers do play Viper. So I'm excited to see the play styles we're going to see here. We do have a sub in now for uh, uh, Cryonic. Uh, Kaleoth is going to come back in as and play Sova with Happy Samoyed playing Jet. Nico, this time, going to play a Sentinel instead of a Duelist. We've got Sage coming in. Coney still playing Chamber, and Slumdank still playing Viper. For the Black Knights, who are defending first, we have Choose Solitary playing agent. Killjoy. We have Sky playing... Uh, Sky playing... Sky being played by Velocity Knife. Wow, had a brain fart there. DeSong's going to be playing Viper. Raze is going to be played by Shrimples, and Larry P is going to be playing... Sova this time instead of Chamber, which is interesting. Um, it's going to be really, really fun to see. Best of three maps. Here we are on map three. This is for all the marbles. First to 13. Uh, we've got the Firebirds attacking first. 
And we are going to get started here on Icebox with two different sites. One site in one site is an inside uh, building with much more uh, tight angles, and site B is a little more out in the open with a nice mid to play with. So plenty of strategy to use here. It's the pistol round. We'll see maybe a couple different guns being used by each team. Uh, the Firebirds are going to start off by pushing through mid to B. It looks like, as their markers are implying. Now, I think they just got to keep the offense rolling that they had on Breeze. They're doing a nice, much nicer job of hitting the shots they needed to hit. Nico especially coming in clutch. And I'm glad Nico's here again. It's going to be interesting to see them play a more uh, support role using Sage this time. Healing teammates and blocking off corridors. Um, and we'll see if it works out in the Firebirds' favor as the... We already have some... Uh... Pressure underway as Shrimples is able to take out Coney with their grenade. The Firebirds are trying to push B. No Black Knight has started to rotate yet, as they would think, you would think happened. Slumdank able to take off uh, Shrimples, and now the plant will happen with the ice wall provided by Nico. Larry P trying to shoot in, not knowing if there's an ice wall there. Nico holding the angle. Gets flashed. Can't quite see for a little bit. The song's able to get in there. Now has access to the spike. And we'll start defusing. Nico's picked off by Larry P's shock dart. And then Larry P will follow up with... Uh, death by Happy Samoan. Wow. Now it's a 1v2 situation. Spike is not going to get defused, I don't think, this round. Because guess what? I can hear it this time, and the defenders were eliminated by Happy Samoid, and wow, it's nice to hear game sounds to know when alts and uh, spikes are going to go off. We are up 1-0 for the Firebirds. Let's keep it rolling. Two picks by Happy Samoid, two picks by Kaleoth, and one pick by Slam Dunk, as the Firebirds are going to stick to their pistols this round. A couple sheriffs going to be bought. No, actually, a, marble, um, a marshal by Happy Samoid, and some heavy shields. As I'm hoping they get aggressive here. Larry P choosing to do the shardy. I'm excited to see what that uh, strategy is going to be about. As the Firebirds are going to push A site quickly this time around. Already dropping the wall. Slumdank, my apologies. It's a mean username, in my opinion. We're so used to reading Slam, slam Dunk all day. I think it's a mean username, Slumdank. There, I said it. There, I said it. I said it. My producer's laughing in the corner at me for my inability to read. Cody's trying to plant the spike there. Does get it off before being picked off. Solitary on 4 HP, still trying to hold the angle. Larry P pushing up a little bit. Has elected to drop the shoddy in terms uh, and uh, exchange for a pistol. Slumdank gets rid of that recon dart before it can even get a tick off. But then is immediately picked off by Larry P. Ooh, and a nice One shock dart by Kaleo, followed by a pick with the Spectre. One person left in, in the form of Shrimples. Probably won't be able to defuse. Tries to start it, and immediately picked off by Happy Smoid. Attackers win. Firebirds take round two. We're moving on to round three here as the Firebirds should be able to full buy this round. Uh, which does seem to be the case. They are going to. Uh, the Black Knights able to also full buy this round. And most of them elect to, except for Kaleoth, who elects to go with the Spectre and Light Shields. Placing sentry. The Firebirds do attempt to go up through B site this time, as both Viper walls now have been played. The song tries to get a little pick. Shrimple's able to get a bomb on Kaleoff. Nico going for the off angle by raising the wall really high and being on top of it, also healing himself. Jet lurking toward the middle of the map. The song picked off by Coney, who doesn't the miss their their shot. Able to pick off, pick up the spike. And they should be able to get a plant in there. Oh, some shots by Larry P. Just right through the smoke. Able to get Coney. 
because they know where the default plant site is. Shrimple's still undetected, just sitting in there. Finally detected, gets a pick on Slumdank. Nico gets pee pong. Solitary creeping on in from the back of the site. Right, kind of where Sage is. Solitary's able to get the pick on Sage. Now a 1v2 situation for Jet. 30 seconds left. And the defenders win this one. Nice play by Shrimple, staying undetected. And now it is 2-1 in favor of the Firebirds. As we move into round four. Does seem the Firebirds will try to push A site, and they have an aggressive stance taken by the defense on this one. Um, unable to get the pick though, quickly. Cody's trying to go for the shot, and they get the headshot on, on Solitary. Velocity Fire trying to use the recon. Larry P picks up the gun. Nico gets concussed by the opponent's uh, Sky. Velocity Knife picks up a gun, trying to just keep that weapons advantage on defense. Nico's able to plant though. Also gets the self heal off in time. It's a nice wall there by Nico, really giving no one access to the spike. Please. Wow, that was a clean shot by Larry P in order to get that headshot. Larry P is now defusing the spike. And the defenders will get the spike defused before this round is over. But the Firebirds, on a better note, do actually get all the kills, which will put the economy in a much worse spot for the Black Knights. The Firebird's going for another full buy round here. Uh, actually, half buy by uh, Slumdank and Coney as they get a Bulldog and a Spectre. But full shields all around. Um, the Black Knights are left on a half buy round as most of them go for full shields, but not for the best weapons they can. And we will see if it works out here as the Firebirds push a site. Nico getting really aggressive here. Waiting for anyone to peek. Gets one kill. Gets the second one. Can't quite get the third. But wonderful way to take advantage of people who can't, can't shoot back. Spike down. Larry P running away with barely any health left. Spike Carrier was killed. It's now a 3v3 situation. Wow, and Slumdank able to get Desong before Desong can get anyone on their team. Larry P trying to alt and get rid of any opposition they've got to deal with. Unable to do so. Shrimple's location is now completely detected. The spike does end up getting planted. It's now a 2v2 situation. Kaleoth on full health, as well as... Jet almost on full health. Sova on life support over there with 4 HP left. Happy Samoid. Uh, ready for the kill. And Shrimples getting bombarded by Kaleoth in their alt. It is now a 1v1 situation. Kaleoth's got to get there quick. Kaleoth won't be able to in time. That's a clutch by Shrimples. He then also gets the kill on Kaleoff. It is now 3-2 in advantage of the Black Knights here on Icebox as we move into round six. Full buy in order for the Black Knights, all except for Nico, who, I mean, for, all, for the Firebirds, all except for Nico, who cannot buy full shields. Um, and then for the Black Knights, we see another half buy, but we are gonna have a timeout here first by the Firebirds. We'll be back in just a minute.
And we are back here for round six. The Firebirds had a quick little reset time. Um, and hopefully that's enough to get their offense going again as they try to put an end to the three rounds straight that the defenders have won. Happy Simone goes in there. Good attempt. Nico gets a nice pick with their aim on Larry P. Down middle. Is an orb. Happy Simone going for an upper angle. They will dash in there and get the pick on to Song before Shrimples trades him out. Shrimples gets another nice pick, spike this time down. on the spike carrier, so now One they have control of the spike. Ah, yeah, now a 2v1 situation for Solitary. Though, the Firebird should be able to plant. Solitary now roams toward the you middle of the field. They're going to try and go back. Allies. Oh, and just for good measure, Nico will res... Uh, uh, revive Slum Day and give themselves a nice little off angle to work with. Solitary, not aware of where the Firebirds are, and Nico peeks out just in time, hearing them fall from the top and gets an immediate headshot. Timeout works out in the Firebirds' favor as they bring it back, tie it up, equalized 3 3 here on Icebox. Um, in terms of weapon buying, we are seeing a little more toward an eco round, it seems, for the Black Knights, as they elect not to go for any weapons outside of the secondaries. Firebird should be in a pretty good position in terms of economy. Uh, as they seem to want to push you through to mid to the And now I hear a chamber ult done by the Firebirds. They're going to hold down mid, most likely, with that chamber ult. Happy Samoyed gets in a very interesting off angle, but Shrimple sees them immediately. Larry P just holding down the angle with the, with the shoddy. And it does work out. Uh, I mean, it doesn't work out as Slumdank is able to get the pick on them. Happy Samoyed turns the corner. It does seem that the Firebirds are going to now favor toward taking A site. Song right below uh, the sage of the Firebirds, Nico. Unaware of the presence, I think, as they're about to pass right by. And Nico swiftly takes care of the song, landing Last a one bullet headshot, standing. and then finishes off Shrimples. Now leaving Sky, uh, Velocity, uh, Velocity Knife, who's swiftly handled by Coney's ult. See, the Amazing part of Chambers Alt is that it has a much quicker refire rate than the actual operator. You're able to immediately, almost instantaneously, get out and be shooting again, whereas the operator takes about maybe a full second before being able to fire another bullet. Firebird's now up four to three as they keep their offense rolling. Bot's coming back. And the Firebirds seem like they're going to elect to push toward B by going through mid. <laughs> nice quick pick by Happy Samoy, nailing the headshot aim. Here's the reloading and gets Velocity knife before they can finish reloading. Spike, down, Spike is dropped low as the song gets a pick on Slum Dank. Happy Samoid's in the back line though, and that'll cause a lot of problems. The Firebirds have complete control now of Site B. Or I, I stand corrected as Shrimples is able to pick off Happy Samoid. And it seems the Firebirds will now try to rotate to A before anything can happen. Nico with winner of the aim battle there against uh, Shrimples now leaves it in a 2v1 situation against Solitary Who is going to try and hold a side? I don't know if they're gonna play for defense or retake and there goes the drone 30 seconds and the plant left. is underway the Swarm grenade was not placed well enough by the killjoy Now they know where Solitary is can't quite get the kill Nico Now one bullet is all it will take as that was a nice shock dart by Kaleoff Mildred's got to go for the defuse a little bit quickly here. Mikhailioth, I think, knowing exactly where he's got to line that last shock dart up. Oh. 
And Kaylee off just elects to go in and take the kill with the Vandal as the Firebirds go up five to three now. The economy not looking so hot in terms of the Black Knights. They'll probably have to half buy. I don't think anyone will be able to full buy this round and get their utility. Firebirds though, able to do a complete full buy. Happy Samoyed even electing to alt instead of buying to save the economy in case this doesn't go well. They do get a marshal just in case, but everyone's on full shields there. The Firebirds are electing to have one lurker in Nico, probably their best shot of the night, go to A site as the rest push for B. Get out of my way. Nico with the operator though, so lands any shot, that's an instant kill. Velocity Knife trying to handle Viper, but just not able to do so. Now Nico's waiting for anyone to peek at all. Dasong really can't seem to get a kill off. Now we've got two Viper ults active, which will probably leave everyone inside of it. Just on a one tap scenario. Dasong able to get a kill there as it's kind of all out pandemonium inside the Viper's pits. Nico with a nice little pick there. That'll help out for sure. Now it's a 3v3 situation. Chamber gets in, he's able to grab the spike and they are out of there. They're gonna try and rotate away. Desong not quite aware of this yet. They're gonna meet Killjoy in mid who just barely walks by them. They're gonna try and rotate to A left. and they will be met there by Killjoy. I must have missed where Nico got picked off. The drone does recognize them. Now they know that Solitary is in the vicinity as the drone of Killjoy only works uh, within a certain range. They've got to plant quickly or get all the picks and it does not seem they'll be able to as we see another thrifty win, the second one of the match for the Black Knights, as they are able to pull that off with a very low economy. Um, it is now 5-4, still in favor of the Firebirds. Now both teams are able to full buy now thanks to that last round. So we will see some real aim battles going on. Uh, really whoever can land a shot first, that'll be what matters the most. I'm looking forward to it, here we go. Nico electing to get an operator yet again. Oh, and the quick pick on Sova, not caring that the recon darts there. You can see where I am. I'm still gonna pick you off. Take flight. I will drone now out by Kaleoff. Who's able to get the recon dart onto another pick by Nico across the map on Velocity Knife. Nico then healing themselves. And pushing forward with the Firebirds through high ground as they have completely taken B site. As Killjoy and Ray's now scramble to get back there. Slum Dank is picked off by Shrimples. Firebirds just need to play a little more defensively right now. Nice little shot again by Nico. That brings uh, Nico to I think. Wow, four kills for that round. As the attackers win, the Firebirds win 6-2-4 now. As we move on, and I believe only one person died, so pretty much everyone had their guns, which is great for the Firebirds economy. Kaleoth now rocking over 7,000 credits. This is probably the last round where uh, the Black Knights are able to full buy uh, before, if they, unless Here. they win. But some of them are electing to half buy. Don't want to put all the eggs into one basket. Nico has an alt ready just in case this round. Okay. No contact established by either team yet. Nico's going to be surprised around this corner. Can't quite get the shot off. Tries to follow with the pistol, an impeccable crosshair placement by Nico to win the battle from a pistol against a vandal on Velocity Knife. Toxin screen down. The song tries to get the pick, but Coney is able to get it instead for the Firebirds. Larry P does pick off Nico finally, getting a hold of that operator. Larry P 
tries to go for a random shot, I'm able to do so. Yeah, I seem to be landing shots with the operator right now. As the Firebirds have planted, it's a 4v2 situation. Out of charge. Shrimples and Larry P have now grouped up and they're trying to enter the site. And Happy Samoyed, holding a great angle, is able to take care of Shrimples as, as Larry P tries to evacuate, but has been seen by Happy Samoyed, so they just gotta wait for them to come through. And gets the one shot kill on Larry P. Getting the operator back last out of their hands. The this is the last round in the half. We will see the Firebirds on full buy again. But before we start it, the timeout is being called by the Black Knights. We'll be right back. And we're back here for round 12, I think. Yes, 12. Uh, just the last round before the swap here as the Firebirds are up 7-4. to four. Hoping that they just can keep this nice pressure rolling. Keep it up. Win this round and then go on and just take the last ones they need. The last four they'll need, uh, five you they'll need in the play? next one. Let's play. We hear an alt by the chamber on the Firebirds. Uh, why not? It's the last round. Might as well. As alts do not come back in the second half. Out. Happy Samoyed lurking at A, making sure that he can make a little Nowhere noise. Run. Oh, and there's the alt there by the Firebirds, trying to clear the site. Oh, and they're able to plant? No, Shrimples will alt and take out Slumdank before the plant is com completed. Wow, and a double kill by Coney. One bullet taking out two of the Black Knights with his ult. Truly impressive. Spike planted. The song trying to get the defuse off. Fakes it instead, trying to get a little more picks beforehand. Last player standing. Coney not quite not able to. Nico will get the res on Kalioth. But Desong may be able to defuse in time. Uh, yes, indeed. And the defenders will win that one, bringing it to a 5-7 series in favor of the Firebirds still as we head into Switching the second sides. half of the game. Firebirds defending now. I'm excited to see. I was hearing uh, I was hearing Slum Dank talk earlier about how he enjoys defending as Viper on this map and feels that he's really strong at it. So I'm really excited to see that defense be put into action. I'm excited to see the Firebirds play defense here as the... Black Knights uh, try to continue their offense and bring this back, hopefully to a win for them. Nico gets the easy, cheeky pick on Larry P. Oh, and another one! Can he get the third? Not quite as DeSong is able to finally stop that issue. But it is now down to a 4v2 situation. Boys and 
as the Firebirds are now defending A site, as the Shrimples and the Song try to get that spike planted, which they will be able to do, not without taking a little damage from a Shock Dart by Kaleoth. And now the location has been revealed. Last Firebird, no push. And they're able to take this round if they can just get to the spike in time, which they have no problem doing as Coney's defusing right now. Firebirds go up 8-5 in the series. No fireworks. Nicely done three. by the defenders there. We now enter the second round of the second half. Uh... Decent economies for both teams going into this now. Uh, it's balanced out now that they've each won a round. I mean, the third round of the second half. Now that they've each won a round. Uh, we're going to see a pistol round still by the uh, Firebirds. They want to keep up... Uh, they want to keep their economy growing a little more before they start diving into weapons. That's not the case. I mean... By the Black Knights, I'm sorry. The color change always gets me in between halves. That's not the case for the Firebirds as Nico will actually go for a Vandal. And it works out as Nico gets a pick on Shrimples to start the round off, immediately putting the numbers advantage in Carthage's favor. Song gets the pick on Happy Samoyed. Kony unable to land a shot there, but Nico gets a nice pick on the Song using that using that Vandal to their advantage at the start of this round. Location revealed on on one of them. Nico tries to defuse, is immediately flashed. Can't quite get through as they keep getting flashed over and over. Blasty not going for the pick on Soba, able to get it. Kaleoth is down. This now leaves a 1v3 situation for the Firebirds. Slumdank trying to force the issue, gets one pick. Location revealed, no one wants to push. Goes for the defuse, can't quite get the pick. Has to start defusing now or it's not gonna happen. Slumdank does successfully hold them all there, so everyone loses their weapons. Unfortunately for Slumdank, it was a pistol round for the other team. So overall, that works out really well in favor of the Black Knights as they push forward down 6-8. to eight. Uh, and we're moving in here. The uh, There's a full buy in place now by... The, uh, by the Black Knights. And the Firebirds have to go on half by, and Kaleoff even has to go on a pistol round. So we'll see how this works out. And a nice quick pick by Shrimples. Uh, Tony there waiting and really waits as long as they can is able to get the pick on Shrimples, as Shrimples just did not check that angle. 4v3 scenario in favor of Carthage right now, but that could change in a second. Song's able to get the plant off at side A. Happy Samoids, location is revealed by that recon dart, but all the Firebirds are now ready at A. They're ready to go take it. Quick pick by Kony, impeccable crosshair placement to get that headshot. And Slumdank finishes it off as the Firebirds defuse the spike. 6-9. The Firebirds are going into a Almost full by scenario. Slumdank still... Nah, there he is. He will get the, uh... uh Firebird's trying to decide what they're gonna buy. They are gonna full buy. Going into this. Nico electing with the Marshall, though. Has been hitting those headshots, though, so I'm not exactly worried about Marshall and accuracy. And a, we will see a half buy by the opposing team. Nico not quite able to get a headshot before, uh... Having the location revealed. Nico will raise the wall to try and get an off angle. Which distracts Larry Peapog long enough for Cody to get a headshot off. To my world. We will see a Viper alt though by the attackers, the Black Knights. 
We're going to try and take this site as quickly as I can. Tony turning away, maybe a little too soon. Happy Samoy with a nice pick on the Viper, which will bring down the Viper's pit, leaving everyone out in the open. Wow. Very nicely done by the Firebirds that round to bring it 10-6. Firebirds now three rounds away from capping off this match, bringing it all the way back, making it a reverse sweep if they do so. Very impressive. Firebirds also have four ults ready to go, whereas the Black Knights only have one, though it is a nice space creator in terms of the uh, lockdown created by Killjoy. We're seeing an economy round again. Very interesting choice, though, by the uh, Black Knights as they go forward. And in fact, we'll see Sloan Dank immediately Viper ult in order to deny them any access to A, forcing them to go toward B. Hasn't quite stopped them, though, as they want to continue to push through the Viper ult. Solitary will push through. Everyone's losing health. Single shots will probably do it to most people in here. Everyone almost on one HP in terms of them. Slumdank will actually be killed by the util. And then Slumdank... Uh, no, I mean not Slumdank will be killed. Slumdank will get a kill. And that is three kills by Slumdank before being brought down. But either way, it doesn't matter. As Happy Samoyed forces, forces the issue to bring it to 11-6 in favor of your Carthage Firebirds. That works. They are so dead. We see a chamber alt now by Kony, who decides uh, <laughs> to alt and full buy this round. Very interesting choice as the chamber alt that is usually spot. used to save economy, but maybe he's doing it to completely deny the right. long area. Um, we see Nico just kind of waiting in spawn still, undecided of where they're going to hold. Not sure what's happening there. Oh, and a quick pick by Kony. Nicely done to deny them that area, as it also creates a pool of slowness that will not allow them to get through. Nico still hasn't moved from spawn. I'm wondering if there might be some technical issues on that sense, but it doesn't matter. Slum Danks then gets a pick on Larry P. Bring it to a 5v3 or 4v3, I can't quite tell. Uh, can we get Nico's cam up real quick, number 8? Alright, no, they're just holding an angle. They're just holding an angle from spawn. They created an off angle. Glad I get to know that. Um, we do see the attackers killjoy, the black knight killjoy, going with their alt, which will create some space and will allow them to get in there. Nico does get caught by that, actually, somehow. Uh, very interesting tactic. As... The spike is planted, so now they are playing for retake. It is only a 2v5, though, so I see our Firebirds able to pull this one out. Song gets a pick on Nico, but then is knocked out, leaving Kaleoth enough time to defuse the bomb and bring us to match point for the Firebirds, coming all the way back from being down after map one and almost seeming like it might go that way in map two after a nice pushback by point. the uh, Black Knights. Let's see if the Firebirds can lock it down right here in round 19. No charges. The Firebirds are electing to full buy with two operators. And they also have access to a resurrection if they need it, that Nico has. Shrimples and Larry P both having alts, one offensive and one offensive and uh, reconnaissance gaining for the Black Knights. Let's see it happen. Black Knight's electing to push through mid and B. Through mid and B main to get to B. Which, frankly, I don't think we've seen from them yet. This could shake it up enough for them to get around. I've got your None trail. of them decide to check! And Kony's able to get a pick! And then teleport away right into the crosshairs of Desong, though. As the Black Knights are able to take B pretty easily. But Happy Samoyed able to get the spray control underway and take out Desong. Slam dunk, able to get another spike pick. It is now a beat. 3v2 situation with the spike down, unable to be picked up right now by Rays or Sova. Larry P, taken out by Nico's operator. This could be the final kill on Shrimples. And there it is, your Firebirds win the in map win. three. The Firebirds <laughs> defeated Army West Point. Never here. GG's all around. Wonderful comeback by the Firebirds to get the reverse sweep going. 
losing on Bind, winning on Breeze, winning on Icebox, Happy Samoy dropping 25 kills, Nico following him behind with another 20 bomb. Overall, your Firebirds were all over the scoreboard this time around. They were not going to lose on Icebox. GG's all around. We're going to take a quick break now, and then when I come back, I believe I'll be interviewing Kalioth about this match. I'm excited to see it. We'll be right back. All right, and we're back here. Today with me, I have Chris Sandoval Terry, a.k.a. Kalioth, coming in here. Uh, we're going to talk to him about the game and ask him a few questions. How you doing, Kalioth? Uh, Chris, you excited about the win? Yeah, I'm very excited about it. Uh, now, overall, how, how, do you feel about, uh, how do you feel about the match? What do you think you did well? What do you think the team did well? What do you think you might have need to improve on? I think I did pretty well with getting info for the team. I agree. Um, you know, I had some shark darts that were actually, you know, doing some – Give them the assists we needed and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. Um, one thing I need to get better on, definitely gunplay and just holding the angles. Yeah, you know? I can see that. I can see that. Uh, what do you think you guys did right as a team after going down uh, on bind? What do you think you turned around that were able to lead you guys to the win? What did you observe on Breeze? Uh, I definitely think Alex going in was such a good idea. And having him on Sky, having an aggressive person that can get intel was major, especially for, sure. for Breeze. Yeah. And, like We needed to ramp up how we were attacking. So that was just really clutch for Alex. Nice, nice. And 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 on Raw Icebox, how do you what do you think was the key that uh really made you get such a dominant win? You know, every game was so close up until this. Uh Icebox is our map. I feel like we just know the movements really well. We just like co cohesively work together really well and uh I just feel like everyone was really comfortable where they were holding and stuff like that. Nice, nice. I I appreciate uh hearing all that. Um now I hear you're also a dual sport athlete. What else do you play? Uh, I play football. Nice. And uh, and uh, what do you play in football? <laughs> Offensive line. Offensive line. Yeah. And uh, what, what what's it like being a, a dual athlete? Um, I wouldn't say it's like too rough physically, but like a little mentally. Just yeah. Like, no, I would know, agree. Now, see, I also uh, I also play tennis, so I I, I can agree it is yeah. quite the mentally taxing thing, to, especially with how many practices can overlap at times. Yeah. Um, and frankly, what are, what do you what are you looking forward to this season uh, before I let you go here? Honestly, I'm looking to make an impact for the program. You know, first year showing out and stuff like that. I'm Absolutely. Huge, Absolutely. But... I'm looking forward to seeing it. Thanks for coming on, Chris. Of course. Uh, now, going forward, uh, I have one more announcement. I'm going to pick uh, – who am I going to have as my MVP of the game? You know, I got to go with Nico. Having the ace on Breeze, Nico, uh, I mentioned in game one that they just needed to start winning their aim fights. They just needed to start landing more shots, and Nico responded. Nico was landing shot after shot. Receiving top frag in Breeze and now second frag here on Icebox to clutch it out for the Firebirds. Thank you all for watching. This has been week one of uh, the Valorant NECC League. 
Tomorrow night, we will have Rocket League, I believe, kicking off at 5.30. Uh, and that'll be the C team playing at 5.30. And then I believe the A and the B team play around 7. So I look forward to seeing you there. And good night.